never been to a big tennis tournament before so I decided to come down to Miami to experience the Sony Ericsson Open. Now I hear that it's a little bit different than a hockey, basketball or football game. They're a little bit more polite perhaps. That's what we're here to find out. Who is here and why? What country are you from? Venimos de República Dominicana, pero somos de Colombia. I have to brush up on my Spanish. Carol, where are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, Nassau, Bahamas. Okay, so you just swam over here? And why are you here today? Why? Yeah, why? Today? Yeah. Can you guys spell Kim Kleisters? C, J, something. It's like I got a J in it. So can you spell Tipsarovich? T, P, S, I, T, I, P, E, R, I A V I C K. You almost had it! Oh, almost, oh almost! God. I was like, oh stop at the C! I'm here with the tournament director for this whole incredible event. You're gonna give us kind of a behind the scenes look? Right, and I will show you a little bit how we kind of match tennis with entertainment. That is why I am here today. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> from the moment you come through our front gate to the moment you get back to grandstand or you're in the stadium. We have multiple experiences. So you don't just come in, eat, and watch tennis, and enjoy the sunshine, you can also shop. Well, let's go check out those locker rooms. I would like everyone to witness that I'm getting into my car. Oh my God! This is like the uh, golf cart of tennis tournaments. This is the most secured area that we have. From this point to the backside is player and player guest only. So this year we have two men's and women's locker rooms, pre-match, post-match interviews right here set up. We have a fully functional player restaurant. Okay, the Serena match must have just ended because her entourage is here. Her dad is right there. How you doing, Richard? Great, how you feel? Another beautiful day in South Florida. Somebody found a tennis tournament. Well, the, the roots of it really go back to the days when I was playing. In the early 60s, uh, pros were not allowed to play in the four major championships. And we had our own player association. I was able to get two weeks on the calendar, and we were the first non-grand slam to have men and women together. Now, I've noticed that most people don't speak English. This is almost like the South American Open, because we're the closest uh, event to Latin America where you're going to see all the players. Where do you see this going in the next couple of years, what would you like to see for the tournament? It's just doing so well. Many people talk about it being like the fifth Grand Slam. There's not a heck of a lot they can do other than start making some more improvements on the site. Okay. One of the things we did, you notice how high the wall is here. Yep. I wanted to make sure that the players had a good vision when they're coming in the net, that there weren't shirts and things that the ball would get lost in. Ah, smart. And you see the steps are painted. Yep. I wanted a consistent background for the players. This was designed by a tennis player. I designed this thing. Tell me a little bit about your involvement with the tournament. Well, basically, um, I'm a main draw player. I uh, competed in the singles and doubles here. This is a, a huge tournament for us, especially for you know the women's tour. That's Kim Kleister. I don't know why I'm whispering. I feel like in tennis, everybody is very, very quiet and sort of serious. It's like a proper clap that you do. It is very hot. I'm sweating. I'm gonna steal someone's water. Maybe that one. Is that your water? Yes. I won't take it. I was just kidding. about your experience with the Sony Ericsson Open. You've won twice, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, a tournament that takes longer um, than, than a one-week event. You know, you compare it to a true Grand Slam and it's uh, it's physically as tough. Um, but here in Miami, there's such a good vibe. The crowd is so, they get so into it. And that's really, I mean, in my career has made a big difference whenever I get out here. So I'm glad you brought up the crowd a little bit because that's something that I wanted to talk about. I noticed as we were sitting there during your match today, 
I turned to my producer and I was like, why is everyone so quiet? Do you think that that would make it more difficult for you to play if it was loud or is it something you would get acclimated to? There's a fine balance between absorbing it and being focused. Right. Because I do think that in tennis it is important to hear the ball bounce um, timing wise. Oh, I didn't think about that. So I think that does have a big impact on how somebody hits the shots. cultured, more refined, if you will. Uh, I've been told over and over today that this is a ladies and gentlemen's sport. So I guess since I'm here, that makes me a lady, not a gentleman. I'll never be a gentleman.